Welcome to the first video of Section 4, discussing an overview of profiles. Upon completion of this video, you will have an understanding of what Civil 3 Profile and Profile Views are, how to create profile and profile views, and the settings and styles that control profiles and profile views. If you'd like to follow along with this video, please open the file 0401 profileoverview.dwg located in the training folder as discussed in the Working with the Dataset for this course video. Civil 3D provides similar creation tools to create profiles as you have for alignments. The creation tools are located in the Home tab, Create Design panel, and then we have the Profile dropdown. There are tools to create service profiles as well as design profiles. Profiles are stored in the Prospector tab under the alignment that was used to create them. As we can see here navigating the Centerline Alignments category, we can expand the PUS90 alignment, and as you can see we have two profiles underneath it. You'll typically have at least two profiles when doing design. One is the proposed design profile, and the other is the surface profile. You can have as many profiles as is necessary for your design under your horizontal alignment. Let's have a discussion about the difference between profiles and profile view. A profile is the actual grade line used to represent either a surface, like existing ground, or a proposed design profile. The profile view is simply an object where the profiles themselves live, as well as any other labels relevant to profiles or profile views. Any changes made to a surface profile will update in the profile view automatically. Now let's talk about the settings and styles you need to be aware of when working with profiles and profile views. Again, in the settings tab, we have a profile and profile view category. So the profile, if you expand it, will have profile styles, which again govern how the profile itself will look. And then of course you have design checks for proposed profiles, any of the labels necessary to create profile related labels. And then of course we have the profile view, which again is the grid. Let's go and expand the profile view style and let's look at one of these styles. Go ahead and double click no grid. And this opens up the profile view style dialog box. As you can see, there are many settings available for the profile view that you will need to set based upon how a profile view should plot at your company. To quickly change a profile view to use a different style, simply select the Profile View, navigate to the Properties palette, and as you can see, you can very quickly and easily change the style to whatever you want your profile view to look like. In summary, we discuss an overview of profiles and profile views. In the next section, we will discuss creating surface profiles and profile views.